In this video, I am going to talk about Coronet Phosphate 042T number 7. A fundraiser is underway to purchase and bring this locomotive home to Florida and restore it to operation. The group hopes to truck the locomotive around the country to different railroads to operate in the future to be a traveling ambassador for the city of Port Orange, Florida. The engine was built by Alco Cook in 1920 as an 042T, where she ran for the Coronet Phosphate Company in Plant City, Florida. Eventually, she ended up at the Central Florida chapter of the NRHS and was evaluated for restoration and operation, but that never came to fruition. The locomotive sadly continued to deteriorate outside in the Florida weather and was eventually donated to the Gold Coast Railroad Museum where she unfortunately deteriorated even further. The cab rusted to nothing salvageable and the fuel tank sat on the ground rusting. I have footage of the engine at the Gold Coast Railroad Museum in 2004. You can see in the video she was in the back of the museum, abandoned in the weeds. In 2013, she was purchased by the Grambling Locomotive Works. This is the father and son team that own traveling steam locomotives. They currently have three engines that they have taken around the country and operated. First is Flag Coal Company number 75 an 040T built by the Vulcan Ironworks in 1930. She is currently receiving a federally mandated 1472 day inspection but should be back in operating fairly soon. Next is Lehigh Valley Railroad 060T number 126 built by Vulcan Ironworks in 1931. And last is Jetta Coal Company 040T number 85, built by the Vulcan Ironworks in 1928. This locomotive is identical to their other locomotive number 75. When the Gramlings purchased Coronet Phosphate Company number 7, they had intentions to restore it to full operations and bring her around the country like the other three engines. However, with them getting older and purchasing a 260 tender engine to restore, they have decided to part with number 7. In evaluations, it has been found that the engine is far better conditioned than she looks and is perfectly restorable. The Port Orange Railway Historical Society, in cooperation from the Florida Adventures in Railroading, are heading up the purchase and restoration. FLAIR, as the organization abbreviates to, has full-time staff that are familiar with steam locomotive restoration and operation. They are going to use number seven as a training and teaching opportunity also for people who want to learn to work on steam. They are currently trying to raise $35,000 to bring the locomotive back to Florida so it can be evaluated and restored. I will provide a link to the website. Please consider donating to this great cause. This is a concept artwork done to show what locomotive number 7 will look like after her restoration. With the current restoration of 462 Pacific number 1504 to eventually operate in Clewiston, Florida alongside 462 Pacific number 148, the recent return to full operation of the Walt Disney World Railroad and rebuilding of all four of their steam locomotives and the future operation of Reader Railroad 260 number 2 at the Florida Georgia Railway Historical Museum and now the restoration and operation of number seven makes it this a very exciting time for rail fans in Florida.